So, um, feeling more relaxed these days about taking a greenhouse through repeated heavy nighttime freezes. Um, I'm always approaching weather events each year, um, having no idea whether an approach is going to work, whether we're going to save the plants, and there are always lessons to be learned. This year, a lot relating to the use of um, propane heaters. Um, you know, the social ecology of propane heat is quite complex. Uh, yesterday I had a visiting farmer friend, probably the only person in my universe who understood quite how important it was to actually get out and get these propane cylinders that I'm using filled to the brim. One of the things I've discovered is, for example, is that when you go to the store and um, swap a propane cylinder, as is a traditional technique where we use um, close to cities, for example, for um, getting propane bottles. Those propane bottles do not come to you anywhere near uh, full. So um, the need to actually get to a location that pumps um, propane into these bottles so I can bring them back and set them up for a single run through a night is, has made a, a big difference to um, you know, the life of the farmer. I'm not needing to worry about whether propane's going to run out at one or two in the morning and I need to get in and check. I can simply put a propane bottle on and step away and leave it, as I did last night. And what we have is um, a greenhouse full of really happy plants that I'm harvesting off um, for a communal lunch today, for example. There are other interesting twists to this tale we use uh, repeated freezes in the greenhouse, for example, to knock back um, insect challenges. They get killed by the cold. So keeping a greenhouse consistently above freezing um, presents some challenges um, in that regard. Um, so one of the things, for example, I, you can see me doing today is I've opened the ends of the greenhouses. And I'm going to leave the cold air today to circulate freely through the greenhouse to, air things out and then also to help keep moisture and, uh, and disease pressures, insect pressures down a little bit. And who knows, one of these nights soon I might actually let the greenhouse freeze if I have a sense that the temperature is not going to be too severe. That'll uh, prove effective for example in knocking back aphid pressure. Okay, always learning. Such a lovely life, the farm life that way.